Welcome to DBeaver's YouTube channel. Today, there's a tendency to distribute a company's cloud infrastructure between several cloud providers. For example, the databases you need could be accessible in AWS, GCP, and Microsoft Azure. The obvious question arises, how can you work with all these databases simultaneously and easily switch between configurations? This issue can be solved with dBeaver Ultimate or dBeaver Team Edition and the feature called Cloud Explorer. This video will show you how to work with hybrid cloud infrastructure through our app. Let's imagine that we have some document DB database in AWS, the SQL Server database in Azure, and the BigQuery database in the Google Cloud Platform. If we want to work with them simultaneously, first we need to set up three configurations. Start by clicking on the cloud icon on the left in the toolbar of the dBeaver application window. In the window that opens, you'll see separate tabs for three cloud providers. We'll start with the first one, which allows us to create an AWS configuration. On the Amazon Web Servers tab, you can select the authentication method from the drop-down list. By default, it's the access key and the secret key which are used to sign programmatic requests that you make to AWS. If you don't have access to the access and secret key, you can use the second authentication method, an AWS profile that's hardwired into AWS SDK. It's considered more secure in terms of Amazon, and you only need to know the profile name to use it. After filling in all the fields, click on the Apply and Close button. Then, you'll see a list of all available databases, and you can select the ones you need. In our case, this is a document DB database. To add it to the navigation tree, use the checkboxes or simply drag and drop your database into it. AWS databases can be located in different regions, of which there's a huge variety. Pay attention to the Regions tab. By default, only one region corresponding to the user is selected so as to avoid spending a lot of time connecting to databases. If you know the exact location of the databases, use the checkboxes to select the needed options. Otherwise, you can check all possible regions and after the first connection, change the selection. If a new region comes up later, you can add it too. In the lower part of the window, you can choose a project to which the database will be added. If some of your databases are stored locally and some are stored in the cloud service, you can separate them into different projects for your convenience. These are all the settings you need to create an AWS connection via Cloud Explorer. Let's jump to Microsoft Azure and add a connection to the SQL Server database. To authenticate through Azure, you need to enter your client ID provided by Microsoft. Now you can expand your Azure configuration, choose the SQL Server database. In the browser window that opens, you'll be prompted to enter your login and password from your Microsoft account. If everything is entered correctly, a message will appear in the browser stating, Authentication complete. You can close the browser and return to the application and add it to your database navigator the same way as you did with the document DB. And finally, let's create a BigQuery connection via the Google Cloud Platform. To do so, you need to open the last tab on the Cloud Explorer and choose the authentication method from the drop-down list. In our case, we'll use the key file, which is a JSON containing all the necessary credentials. All we need to do is specify a path to this file on our disk and then click the Apply and Close button. Now let's select the BigQuery database we need from the list and add it to the navigation tree. The connections we have added with the help of Cloud Explorer are marked with a small cloud icon. Now we can connect to any of them and start working with several databases from different cloud providers simultaneously. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.